The Double Juice is a sleazy music bar in the small town of Jasper, Missouri, the kind of place where they sweep up the eyeballs after closing. The owner, tired of his joint being wrecked by muscle-bound power drinkers and provocative bimbos, hires the best bouncer in the business, Patrick Swayze, to cool things down. Thanks for joining us here at the Rewind Zone as we hit Rewind back to 1989's Roadhouse, starring Patrick Swayze, Kelly Lynch and Sam Elliott. Let's check in with the cast of this classic 80s film and update the cast for you, whilst we learn more about the film in the process. Released in May of 1989, Roadhouse managed a respectable $61 million at the box office from its budget of $15 million. The film would later go on to find its audience in the launch of a very successful home video campaign. The film has gone on to become somewhat of a cult classic. Streaming giant Amazon announced in 2022 it was going to be making a remake, and shooting began late in the year with A-lister Jake Gyllenhaal in the lead and the Bourne Identity director Doug Liman behind the lens. With that to look forward to, let's cast our eyes back again and indulge in some amazing facts from this legendary film. Though the plot is set at the time of Jasper, Missouri, Roadhouse's infamous bar, The Double Juice, was built for on-site filming in California. Some of the bar's interior footage was filmed in a real Anaheim bar, but is now closed. Patrick Swayze was a heartthrob that fans just could not ignore. During shooting, a horde of middle-aged blonde women in a truck tried to pull up in front of the actor's trailer in a wild attempt to speak to Swayze. During the film's river fight scene, a raft of Swayze's fans cruised by. Another time, an extra, who was playing a waitress, was so love-struck with the heartthrob, she tripped over and spilt her drinks on an unlucky extra nearby. The 1962 Otis Redding tune, These Arms of Mine, kicked off the initial love scene between Swayze and his co-star Jennifer Grey in the film Dirty Dancing three years prior. The signature track would make a reappearance in one of Roadhouse's romantic scenes between Swayze and Lynch. I wonder if it was a preferred choice of song from the mumbo man himself. Cast as the ER director, Dr. Elizabeth Clay, aka Doc, Kelly Lynch researched her role by shadowing the medical team in a real emergency room to learn how to sew stitches. One script changed later, Lynch was handed a staple gun on set, and we never got to see Lynch put her skills to work. In 2020, Roadhouse was named the most played movie of basic cable, beating out Jumanji, Gladiator, and Ace Ventura Pet Detect. A direct-to-DVD sequel, Roadhouse 2, was released in 2006. None of the cast members from the original film appeared. The cast included Jake Busey, Ellen Holman, and Will Patton. The story takes place years after the original movie, and Dalton's being declared dead. The less we talk about this shameful sequel, the better. Will Emerson's Roadhouse be able to live up to the original? With any cult film reboot, the most important thing is to celebrate the source material of its fans. Otherwise, what's the point of invoking this franchise? Still, so many elements combine to make the original film work, and that's a tough recipe to replicate. If Dalton had his say, he'd probably quip, I want you to be nice, until it's time to not be nice. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button to show your support if you're enjoying our videos. And as always, I'll see you on the other side.